For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. Since the 1960s, farmers have been using herbicides to control weeds. And frankly, herbicide formulations have not changed that much, and the weeds have managed to find ways to adapt. Some weeds have become resistant to the herbicides farmers use to control them. Others have lengthened their germination period, emerging later in the season, avoiding early spring control methods. University of Illinois Extension weed scientist Aaron Hager has a four-step plan farmers can use to maintain a competitive edge in corn or soybeans. It starts by planting into a weed-free seed bed. And it's easy to achieve a weed-free seed bed by either pre-plant tillage, burn down herbicides, or a combination of those two. Given the challenges of weather, given the challenges of resistant weed populations, very advisable not to plant any seed into any existing weed populations or any vegeta green vegetation without adequate control ahead of time. Step two in the plan is to select an appropriate residual herbicide, be sure it provides very good control of the most problematic weed species in a given field, and pay attention to the label, says Hager, and always apply the recommended rate for the spectrum of weeds in the field. The third step would be to make very timely post-emergence applications. Base those not necessarily just on a calendar number of days after planting, but rather base those post decisions on adequate scouting. So return to the fields several days, begin maybe about two weeks after crop emergence, scout the fields, determine the weed size, the stage of crop growth stage and development stage and make the decision on when to make that very timely application of the post herbicide. The final and fourth step is to go back to the field seven to ten days later and evaluate how well the post emergence herbicide application worked. It may be that another germination of a weed species warrants a second application. Uh, this won't be known without a trip back to the field. If we fail to go back and look at how well the product performed, or the level of crop injury that we see soon after that application, we could uh, have some very significant challenges later in the growing season. The days of set it and forget it weed control have ended. Today's farmers must scout fields for competitive weeds before, during, and after the growing season. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.